Good day, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is Viper of Viperland, and I am back here in Near Automata. Uh, I was gonna have just a pose on top of them, but then I started hearing enemies going off, who apparently aren't attacking me anyway. Well, then I could have totally just had the top of the moose pose. Well, whatever. We're back. We're playing more. We're I'm gonna say like midway through phase of Route B, but I'm not 100% knowledgeable. I, I've played it through before, but I don't remember exactly how far we are through. We were going... Also, hey, Sora, welcome to Viperland in the chat. How you doing tonight? We were going for quests. Uh, so let's check the map real quick. Should have done while we were here. I don't remember exactly where we had quests to go to. One way the hell over there. Way the hell over there. Therefore, we can go to. That's probably the one we were going to. No, that's by. Hmm. I did forget where we were going to. Oh, culinary researcher. Yeah, we had that one. We gotta either turn it in or. Yeah, turn it in. We must have the stuff. Don't know what the hell that one is. Oh well. Moving on. Going towards the culinary researcher. I think we needed, that was the one we needed the, the moose and boar meat for. And we must have gotten it. I'm gonna say we did, cause it marks it on the map, so. We must have. Okay, let's see. Moose meat, boar meat, yep, that's everything. Also, hello, potions. Welcome to Viperling in the chat. Of course not. They're, they're androids. Why would they be a chef? They have no need to cook. They're just trying to, you know, learn. But also, welcome to Viper Land of the Chat. How are you doing tonight? I tell you what, you fry this up with a little salt and pepper, bam! Taste explosion. Uh, allegedly. You've had it before? It's actually pretty popular among Resistance combat models. Not that it has much of an effect. Humans were so amazing, weren't they? Just their cooking knowledge alone is enough to blow my mind. What do you think will happen to us androids once they finally come back? I mean, we're built to fight, and if we don't need to do that... Ah, forget it. We've all got our own work to do, right? I'm going to keep up with food research for as long as I can. Doing alright? Glad to hear. Marine life has returned in force to the oceans and rivers, after all. So when humans return, I'll make sure to greet them with a glorious feast. See you around. Uh, a whole bunch of buffs. And that's about it. But hey, you know, quest complete. Yink. It's that one that's down in the middle. That one... Throwing me off. Right there. It's down below. Hmm. To be fair, we're not doing everything, but we're cleaning up some of them. Where's that one? Oh yeah, we weren't gonna do that one because that's uh, we did that one on the other save file. It's our current destination. So I guess there's not too much left to try for. Gotta do Turf War, maybe check that one out. Pretty sure that one is the one we decided not to do, the one in Pascal's Village, because we'd already done it. We'd do the parade, I guess. Alright. Either way, heading out of here seems the right call. Which is this way. Hey, Grim, welcome to Viperland in the chat. No, it's time for, uh, nine shorts. That's what the S stands for, right? Shorts? Hold on, wait, wait. Those shorts aren't short enough. We gotta, we gotta... Shorten them up. There we go. Now we're not shorts. Where did Tubi go? <laughs> she was right next to me. <laughs> did we really, like, blast her? Oh, there she is. Yep. We absolutely blasted hers off, too. Well, there you go. Two booty, nine shorts. Both achieved. Man, that out of combat regen ain't no joke. Also, how's it going tonight, Grim? Yeah, there's a... There's a quest down there. Which I feel is... Yeah, I was about to say not a good idea to jump off with the game. Oh, oh. Never mind. It will let me. Alright, well, going to quest. Hope there's a way back up, yo. 
That would really be beneficial. Okay. A good, the monk quest giver is a dick. Ah, you know. I... I feel like I need to go back and, like, pay more attention to cinematics and stuff, because, like, a lot of the non-MSQ side quest stuff, I kind of just gloss over, and it's... I really should pay more attention to it. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Like, including class quests, like, after a while I was just like, hey, yeah, give me the skill, give me the skill. Which is not great. I should know what the classes are doing. It's fairly worthwhile. Oh, this was our farming setup, wasn't it? Yeah. This is the extra EXP, extra robbery. I was like, wait, why are we not leeching off of hits? That's why, because we only leech off of out of combat. Yeah, what can you do? On the other hand, I'm learning monk stuff from Totally Not Hildebrand. Oh, very nice. Definitely. Wait, what? I mean, I guess Hildebrand doesn't use a weapon, so I guess you'd have to be a monk. Yeah, there are bits of it that I didn't fully pay attention to, which is a shame. Can you go back and watch a lot of that stuff, though? Like, Or would I have to find a video on it? Like, is that stuff in the journal? Or the brown pompadour? <laughs> That's fantastic. Alright, I'll check it out at some point. Just like I do need to go back and redo the cinematics of Crystal Tower at some point, like... Because again, I was just there trying to rush... the thing. Did I go the wrong way? I mean, yes and no. That seems to be the, where the quest is, but I don't seem to be able to access it from this direction. Cool. Oh, that's true. New Game Plus might. I keep forgetting that's a thing. Which ain't a bad idea. Though, for the MSQ, for the most part, I've done it recently enough, and I definitely paid attention to the vast majority of the MSQ. There were bits towards the end of Stormblood that I will absolutely admit I, I skimmed over. And there were bits towards the end of ARR I definitely skipped over. But I feel like for the most part, MSQ, I've done a good job of actually paying attention to. Oh, fishing down here? Hell yeah, we haven't fished down here. Yeah. Fishing time. No, 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 not complete. Fishing is not complete. Yeah. Gotta be some good fish down here, right? That's just how it goes. Exactly, gotta fish up Leviathan. Uh, last night before I dipped into Eureka, I did a... Uh, I cleaned up all of my ARR hard mode dungeons I had never done. And one of them had a heckin' leviathan tentacles as the final boss. That was something. There were just a few that I got quests for, but I never actually did, just because I'd wait for them to come up in roulette, and they didn't. So I was like, screw it. I can solo these, let's go do it. Koi carp machine? I will do like two more. Especially if they're going to be longer casts. Come on. Give me the fish. Fresh ish, yeah, you know. Arowana machine. Alright, let's go let's go the distance. I legitimately can't even see it. <laughs> I may have goofed. <laughs> I honestly can't see where it went. I'm gonna hope the controller vib vibrates or something, but I can't see it. I imagine the fish is going to get away, but like, now I'm committed. Truly, truly can't see a thing. I have no idea where it is. Ah, oh, damn it, I could see it. Uh, well, one more actual cast, and then we'll we'll go back about our business. Also, hello, the real EMC. Welcome to Viperland in the chat. Gotta catch the fish. I mean, all we've caught so far is machines, so, you know. 
It's not like we're taking out the actual fish population too much. This is near Automata. Uh, I just happen to be fishing at the moment. They let you fish, and I haven't fished in this area before, so I gotta see if we can catch. catch. Yeah, another machine. No, I mean, that might be real. Yeah, an actual carp. We got a real koi carp and two machines. Oh, and some chests we can uh, hack open. It's so weird to hear this without any background music. Weapon shop flyer. Oh, that's for Pascal. Hello. Oh, a new weapon. Let's get out of the way of that. Yeah, Leviathan, but a machine, exactly. I mean, let's be honest. We would all be hyped for Mecha Leviathan. And it's like, just imagine the soundtrack for that. Like Leviathan, but all like grunge and metal. Like, I'd be down for that. 100%. Totally okay with it. Right, let's hammer the fool. Uh, yeah, that took off most of his HP. I'd say that worked. I need it. Oh man, yeah, that would be good. Mecha Leviathan versus Alexander, and also I apparently forgot to pick up just everything over here. I don't know how I forgot everything. Oh, couple or full, whatever. Give every primal mecha version. Yeah, like Eden's doing the remixes. Cool. Next time, just do uh, do mecha versions of them all. It's like, you know, Alexander goes through time, picks up the primals right before we beat them, turns them into machines, and then we fight them. That's how it goes, right? Which would then give us a chance to fight Alexander again. I got, uh, I got Brute Justice for my trial roulette today, which is always a good time. Alright, so how the hell do I get out of here? I made my way down here. I gotta make my way back up. Okay. The final boss is all of them combined into Alexander the Assembled 2.0. Yeah, see, exactly, you got it. I don't remember how to leave. Got super tempted by that quest marker, and now I'm like, mm, if only I could remember how to get the hell out of here. Nope, that ain't it. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew there was a way. Just couldn't remember what it was. Alexander weapon. <laughs> Everything is secretly, secretly Alexander. Somehow. Alexander Savage was actually just, like, teasing future content. Alright. Still don't really know what that quest marker was for, though. Uh, we can try and approach it a different way, I suppose. Or we just move on. I'm not going to spend my entire night for one quest marker, but it seems like we got to approach it from that side instead. Is be down to the oh I see where it is we actually might be able to do that we gotta get out of here first and then we're gonna have to take this path out again because it's gonna drop us back down there but we, we might be able to do that I see where it's connecting to at least I'm gonna give it a shot now that I see woohoo One grape with monk, absolutely zero range of decks. Oh, nothing, not even like a engager or like something while moving. Huh, well, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but it still sucks. Not a single Hadoken. I mean, come on, clearly monks need a Hadoken. Or a sonic boom or something, like some sort of ranged attack. We also seem to have stopped all music. Come on. Eh, whatever. 
around. <laughs> Don't let any intruder get intruders. That's fine. How about you explode? Take everything. And you're dead. Good. Right, so I definitely do actually remember this quest. But it just took me a minute until I was looking at the map. There's an island we can maybe float to. Intruders? I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> Almost got all of them. Didn't actually knock them back either. They they kind of just tanked it. I mean, they died, but they kind of tanked it. Mits! Hot damn mits! 35 heckin' months. Full of Leviathan, full of good times, full of everything. Also, that does remind me, besides the thank you so much for the tier 2 35 month resubscription, we also have from yesterday, uh, this guy. Because now that things are working again, I did test them before stream to make sure they were working. As well as we had this one too. And there we go. Come on, there it is. Really had to play. Yeah, thank you so much, Mitz. Welcome to Viperland in the chat. How are you tonight? That is a whole heaping helping of months of resubscribing. Sorry, Hopefully you're still, you know, enjoying all the Viperland good times and goodness we got around here. Okay, so we should be able to carefully, carefully jump in this direction. There should be a place to land around here. Way down. Aha, uh -huh, and a chest too. And a chest. And also, hey Mint, how's it going tonight? Welcome to Viperland in the chat, how are you doing? You can never forget about the Spanish Inquisition, but you can also never expect it, that's how it goes. It's, it's the Catch-22. You can't forget it, but you can't expect it either. Yeah, see, we couldn't jump down too far. Hello, Mr. Robot. Oh, you're androids, yes? Candy and machine. Then you must be here to kill me. I've lived long enough. I only ask that you not make it too painful. I mean, you could just destroy. Why do you not strike? Because you have no desire to fight. You're like the machines in Pascal's village. If you don't attempt to harm us, we have no cause for quarrel, except for all those ones when we initially land that they specify they're not attacking anyone and we kill them anyway. Though to be fair, that's not scripted, that was me. You, don't, you know Pascal? I see. Still, you should be careful. Of what? Some of our kind can be violent. They are beyond our control. They attack everything they see, be it friend or foe. Many of these machines are waiting in the canyon ahead. Yeah, I know, I already killed them all. You'd be wise to keep your distance. Yeah, I know, I already killed them all. Lord of the Valley accepted. Machines attacking indiscriminately. Proposal. Unit 2B should eliminate the hostile machines. I mean, I guess. We still have Turf War up there, but we can go from Pascal's village once we get up. Alright, so they must have spawned something down here. There we go. Hey, look, this area looks familiar. At least now we know how to get the heck out of here. There's the way out. Where's the enemy? Ah, huh, this. Look at all the corpses. Is this some kind well, I'm of sure people just shove robots down here. Like you know. Whatever. Out of sight, out of mind, right? Totally. Perfectly fine. Hmm. You're definitely gonna get up. Yep, huh? Watch out. They're still alive. I'm on it. Oh, time for hammer time. Not as effective as I would have hoped, but I got one or two. down a little bit. Oh, 
Oh hey. Hey big guy. What's it saying? Yeah, well, what could it be saying? Damn it, I always think those move quicker. Yeah, well to be fair, we're working on it. I dodged that game. Okay, guess I didn't. Hmm. Oh no. Welp. Welp. Oh, somebody had a really good message and now I don't remember what it was. <laughs> hey, Sir Jude, welcome to my brain in the chat. How's it going? We died. I don't. Somebody's. Somebody had had a good message, and now I don't remember it. Of the coldness of water. You're from Double Phone Land. Hot damn. Somewhere very dark. Yeah. Do you know what? That's kind of applicable to what we just did too. Well, yeah, that's understandable, dude. If you've been having some heckin' power issues. Very understandable. Fortunately, I think that just... I think this restarts us. I mean, we know where we're going now. And we know to dodge that, uh, that move. Uh, all the way up here now. We still have that mission, right? Or did it straight restart us? Okay, we have the mission, so we can just go out to the bridge and jump down. Well, so we don't have to return to the other mission. That could be worse. Could be worse. I'm not gonna fight any of the little guys, we're just gonna go down there, fight that guy. Eh, go ahead, protect the king. Go ahead. I mean, your king's dead, but I, I guess they didn't send out the memo. So, you know, whatever. That would be interesting if, like, after the king dies, there's no more, like, troops out there. Or they're still, they still respawn there, but they have, like, less morale. Should be safe in a game as hard as this? Yeah. I mean, we have so much... To be fair, I'm not even in my main combat, like chip set up. We should be okay. This is gently float down. Hi right, big guy. Look at all the oh we gotta start little guys again. Hey, right, that's fine. They're still alive. I'm on Oh I dodged that. Okay. You guys hit really hard. Uh, I don't remember how to use it out of com or in combat, but I remember how to use it here. Good call. Flashlights are never a bad thing to have prepped and ready. How did we suddenly get so bad at fighting? <laughs> no, screw you guys. You know what it is? It's because we're... We have our full shorts right now. Full shorts don't do anything for us. Gotta have... Damn it, how long do I have to be out of combat for the regen? It's not even out of combat, it's just not getting hit for long enough. What the hell happened to my chips? Ah! It got set to A, which is nothing. Uh, cool. I do forget which of these was the one I wanted, though. Yeah, that's my combat one. Which is missing a few. That one's missing a few, too. I did, oh, because those were kind of just thrown in anyway. Okay. Well, 
You want to drop it up. There you go. Oh, I know why. Because the chips we had are on our corpse. That's why. There's more. I forget that you legitimately leave some of your stuff on your corpse. That's why it's gone. What's it saying? Don't listen to it, Tubi. Only from monk place of house of dead. Oh, I can imagine. Gap closer helps. Okay. So this time we don't get grabbed by that grab attack. I feel like that absolutely happened to me on my first playthrough too. Previous body. Yes. Okay. Much better. Well, maybe if we stay out here and hack the pool, that might go a lot better. It's a fool who don't want to be hacked, yo. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, about half HP. Do it again. There we go. Good, good. Oh, we did what we wanted. What was with that thing? It was talking. Maybe that machine who sent us here knows something about this. We should try asking her. All right, to the other side of the valley we go. It's been it's been a while since I've done Palace of the Dead. And I feel like if I were to level another class from, like, level 1, I'd probably do, like, White Mage anyway. Which probably wouldn't need Palace of the Dead, I can insta queue for whatever. Healers kinda get to do that. Not that you couldn't bring a healer or a tank to Palace of the Dead, I just feel like... It's a little better suited for DPS. I feel like you're better off in those, unless you're behind on gear. In which case, hell yeah, do it. You really seem broke to keep hearing. Yeah, see, that's the other thing. Especially knowing that you'll be able to get, like, tombstone gear at heckin' 60. Like, yeah. That's why. Oh, we push that. Alright. Thought we could go back. Guess because we died, we can't. Go this way. Taking the roundabout way. Hopefully we get something good for this. These elevators look really bad. I wouldn't trust any of them. Wouldn't trust any of these elevators. Blissful death I already died, to be fair. Hopefully the last time for tonight. Oh, come on. We're full on so many things. I should just start selling some copper ore, but whatever. Oh, honestly, maybe? I really don't remember where it plays in game, so. Oh yeah, no. We're just doing side quest stuff now. I got this one and one of the one of the forest to hit up real quick, and then we should be good to keep going on story. Oh, okay, gotcha. I haven't done his side quest in Route B yet. Here's this one, if they want me to redo it, I'll do it. The other ones they want me to redo, I'm like, nah, we did it once. Oh, not the side quest, okay. Oh no, intruders. I should fight them, but... I'm just moving forward. 
doesn't oh okay then I don't know if I've been to his house maybe I did yeah yeah for the king cool cool we're going this way you guys do your kingly stuff up there we're gonna go chat with this other guy Woohoo! Yeah, no worries. We'll find it, or we won't. Either way, it'll be okay. There's the robot. Hello, robot. I have a question about the machines in the canyon. Yeah, it's very dangerous. You should avoid them. Actually, we already took care of them. You what? I see. Then perhaps they can finally reach heaven. Come again. Many machines have thrown themselves into that canyon of late. They were trying to hurt themselves beyond repair. You found the remains of those who succeeded and fought those who did not. I know not what would drive them to do such a thing. But I pray regardless that their souls might reach heaven. Here, a gift for you. Thank you for killing them. A clean nut, memory alloy, taunt up, last stand, vengeance. All right. Uh, we do need to get back up there. Souls in heaven, huh? Do either of those things exist? They'll find out in the end. Don't know if climbing back up is my best. Okay, that's great. <laughs> that's great. I don't know if climbing back up is my best plan. It might actually be quicker and easier to go around, but whatever. We need to be on the other side of this river. So if I can keep from having to go up that elevator again, I'll take this way. And there goes the music again. Why even have the music going? Alright, we're, we're getting there. We fell a long way down. Or maybe not as long a way as I thought. Go back up. Oh, you know what I gotta do, right? Commencing. I have not fished here. Teleporter trickling out. Oh, okay. Good to know. I could probably find that. I'll see if I can. But first, fish. See, look at the size of that thing. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah. Fur carp. Why is a carp growing fur? Why did I just catch up a fish up a furry fish? Is that just a fish's fursona? I have a lot of questions. None of them are probably going to be answered. Wait, no, we got a fish fish encyclopedia, don't we? We could totally check it. See what a fur carp is. Come on. Catch a fish. Okay, well, that's our sign to leave, I guess. No, no. I hit circle. Catch complete. I do want to check. Oh, no, come on. An odd species of carp covered in hair, which gives it the appearance of something one might find in a shower drain. The hair helps to maintain its body temperature, allowing the fish to survive on land for short periods of time. As a result, it's not uncommon to see them sunbathing near riverbanks. That's weird. That's just odd. But okay, let's go to the other side of the river. Try to get that quest done. Yeah, yeah, king, kingdom, stuff like that. They're, they're very... They're very determined to protect their stuff. But they're not determined enough to come up with new lines. After after every time I, you know, take them down. Fish are cold-blooded. How would fur help? <laughs> mm, I don't know. It's a very good question, to which I have no good answer for. Ready. That's fine. You guys do your thing. We're just passing through. We're just passing through, like I said. 
voice lines are optimal. I mean, I guess so. They would know. They spent all this time training. They would definitely know the optimal way to tell each other to protect the king. A beard? <laughs> I guess. It's still strange. Okay, all the way over here. Well, I can see the enemies I gotta take down over here. I don't remember why I gotta take them down, but whatever, we'll take them down. Is that? Um. Wow. It's a moose bot. So the leader of the pack was a oh, okay. Do you remember this? Yeah, this was for the the moose guy. All right, moose bot. Well, I missed the moose bot. Also, that hurt really bad. Well, we can't hack the little guys. We can theoretically hack a moose bot. Spot hacked. Beautiful. Record of a bestial machine. Cool. Yeah, it's the last of them. Mm -hmm. Let's go oh, because the rest of them ran off. Hey! Salsa Fune! Did we get some Didn't even get any for me? Salsa Fune for 24 heckin' months. Another Leviathan. That's too. See, the game wants me to go fishing, guys. The game wants me to keep fishing. I can't argue with the game. It wants me to fish more. But also, thank you so much, Sasafune. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to Viperland in the chat. And of course, thank you so much for the resubscription. Always super appreciated. I didn't kill these ones. They were already dead. I've been thinking about the machine who was leading that pack. Oh yeah? It seemed less like imitation and more like actual animal behavior. Yeah, I guess it was kind of odd. Are you thinking there's a reason for it? Perhaps. But also, how you doing tonight, Satsune? I, uh, I, I still can't believe I was just messing around in Eureka in 14, and just like, maybe I did like three, four feats, and I got the T-Rex mount already, and it's like, oh, okay. That wasn't my goal. Like, I'm in there trying to get the, the book for Scholar, and just generally, uh, pets wouldn't hurt either. Sadly, the, I know the pet I want is rarer and later in there than where I am, but I, I'm going to get it eventually. I really want Conditional Virtue. One of these days. But I can get gear while I'm in there too. But the fact that I got the mount that early is kind of... kind of bananas. Apparently I've had... there was somebody in the FC who opened like a thousand crates before they got it. And I got it in like... 30? In any case, you dispatch the wild animals. You have my thanks. Now we can live here in peace. Here, please take this. Auto heal plus five, full recovery, animal bait. Do you know anything about the machine that was leading the pack? Hmm? Machine. The pack leader was a machine life form that seemed to think it was an animal. We couldn't even communicate with it, not that we tried. I see, but you dispatch them, yes? In that case, all is well. All is peace. I mean, still more questions, but sure, all is well. Okay. Uh, we got a teleporter over that way. How can you love animals and yet not bat an eye at the death of a fellow machine? I do not get these guys. Yeah. There we go. Okay, we do actually have to go through this way, so... There it is. I'll leave that guy alone. He didn't come down and fight, so you can stay. Playing Yakuza 0? Ah, very nice. I need to finish that. I got very far into it and then didn't finish it. As is customary for me. But I need to, because I have the next two ready and waiting. 
and I'd like to play them at some point. Right, save. Transport to... Did we have any other one we wanted to do? I think it was just story after this, right? Let's see. We don't want the one in Pascal's village. The parade is cool if we pass it by, but I don't really care too much. Yeah, going to going where we're going. Cool. Pascal's village. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> it is the theme of Viperland, pretty much. You might think it's my intro shtick or my welcoming shtick. No, it's the ah, I loved it. Didn't finish it though. just how we do, you know? Oh, it was the resistance camp, wasn't it? Whoops. Whoopsie doodle. Wrong camp. <laughs> hey, bots. Bye, bots. Sorry to hear you're lagging. It's, I've dropped a few frames on my end, but it shouldn't be noticeable. It's just tiny little hiccups every now and again. Guaranteed drop, I'm not sure. Okay. I know it's way later in it, so like, it's a thing I'll get to. Because there's three main areas. I'm still in the first area. I hit level 11 today. Apparently they drastically upped EXP gained, and I like that, because it's working okay for me. It's come to our attention that the bunker's main server is approaching maximum capacity. Please organize your user folders and delete any old data. Oh, we got this before, too. Okay. While we're here... Yeah, I mean, they also made it much more manageable to solo it, which is what I cared about. And have been enjoying... We don't really use a lot of weapon attack, do we? Got a critical up plus five, that'll be hard to get to. We got enough funds, we may as well just upgrade whatever we can. And a lot of anti-chain damage. They really don't want us to get chain damaged, but I don't really equip them anyway, so you know, screw it. This is how you can drop all your cash super quickly, by the way. I guess plus six is as high as that one goes. And we're broke. Cool. Make sure those are actually allocated, and they ain't. Weapon attack plus four. HP, deadly heal, auto heal. Clock. I think we would have done critical up. go because that's our full-on oh and shockwave that's our full-on offensive one yeah good and this one is not our full-on offensive hmm
Item scan. EXP. Drop rate. Do I really care about move speed? Nah. Auto heal. Yeah, huge. Like it. HP up. Sure, invincible for four seconds after damage. I like it. And we'll do a weapon attack up. And eight left. Inch attack up. Ah, shockwave. Screw it. There we go. Sounds good. Uh, I'm 9S. Our android forces currently have a carrier deployed in the Pacific Ocean. It should be back here to resupply before too long. The resistance is assisting with the mission, so I'd like to ask you to run a little guard duty. Seriously? Ah, we're getting to this bit. Dead okay. Serious. There's a stockpile of missiles down at the shoreline that needs to be loaded on the carrier. And with all the machine it's activity like a bit lately, of fuzz for my shirt. To stay on our toes. I thought course, it was a bug on my arm, but it's just a bit of lint. something for your, huh? I don't mind if that takes priority. Anyway, thanks in advance. Yeah, apparently I gotta get to like level 17 to get to the next level of Eureka. Which is, you know, I'll get there. But I also need enough things from this first area. I gotta stick around for a little bit anyway. I'm a little sad because to level the weapons to their like in, glowy I'm bit. I'm here. Oh, hold on. I've sent you a new data retrieval request. Hey, wait, just we might do that. Even give me a chance to turn it down this time. Might grab that quest, but yeah. To make you the weapons glow, you need feathers from Pazuzu, which is a fate that can spawn only in certain weather, and I think only at night. I think it needs to be both the weather and night. And it spawned for me earlier, but you can only actually get the feathers from it if you're level 19 or 20, which I'm not. So, I got to see it spawn, and not be able to do anything. Right, so where's that quest she just gave us? Yeah, so it was just like, uh, I got to witness it happen, and then not grab it. I actually have a few new quests around here. That one we don't need. It's got to be the one back in the camp, right? That's our current destination underneath us. All right, back to the camp real quick then. So it's just like, mm, it was there. I saw it, but I couldn't do it. I mean, I could have, but I would have got nothing. Else. Also, hello, Luna. Welcome to Viperland in the chat. How are you doing today? Thank you for the host. How's things going? So yeah, I got, to, I got to see the whole instance go crazy over it and go in one direction to go grab it, and I was like, well, uh, shucks. The desired contents of this request are spelled out below. Please gather the following for information and analysis. Vestiges of human life from large-scale ruins in the desert. These ruins are the remains of what once was once a residential area, a complex of multiple dwellings. Photograph these vestiges and send them to me. Okay, so we gotta go over there. At least I know where we're going. I also have a quest over here. Seriously, you your heart types are something else. Well, not to brag, but we are- Oh, I remember this quest. We definitely did this one. We are sick of the art units, not like the A2 or those other old mode. A2? Attacker number two? You know her? Of course you got a good deal. That's how it goes sometimes. No, not- I'm sorry, can I ask one more favor of you? Can you give me any information you have on that old A2 Yorha unit? Anything at all? That's funny. We've been trying to find more information ourselves. Why are you asking? I just need to be sure about something. I don't remember if we did that one the other time. I remember getting that quest, but I don't remember if we did it. Well, we didn't do the desert one, because that one we got from 9S's operator. So, to the housing complex...
yeah, I, I only started doing the farming for stuff last night because I was like, I was playing 14 after stream. It's taken a while to find groups for stuff because it was rightfully A2, late. She? Where should we start? We could check out the energy reactions generated during battles. The fusion reactors of Android hey, shut down when they're destroyed. And we can detect the energy release during that process. We're the only units doing any combat missions in this area, right? So if we detect any stray energy reactions, it probably means I A2 don't remember doing that quest, so... Yeah, okay. We've got some readings around the abandoned factory. Okay, I, I will go do that. I don't remember there being... I don't remember doing an A2 quest. We probably got it, and then we're like, screw it, let's do story. Because that, you know, that's how it goes. But hey, how's it going, Fear? Welcome, welcome. So apparently we're going to take photographs of remnants of humanity around here. I really don't quite know what that means, so it's possible we just go, screw this, and move on. I don't feel really tired now. Yeah, no worries. Do what you gotta do. Rest up. If you're tired, get some sleep, for sure. Thanks for hopping by for a bit. Definitely get that sleep. A shoe, hmm? Must, must, yeah, must have belonged to a child. I'd say this counts as a remnant of mankind. Sure. Okay, so we got a small shoe. Oh. Is this a toy? I guess the operator would be interested in this. See, that's why I'm glad I have the items on radar now, because it's just like, oh, okay, cool, I know where all the items are. One of them's got bound to be the right one. Crystal, probably not. Torn book? No. Hmm, I mean, there's one other item over here, but it doesn't seem to be in, like, the middle of that. Copper ore. Farming resources 14, dark chestnut logs and lumber. Oh, I hate Dalmo hides. Ugh, I've needed them for a bunch of stuff and I just hate them because nobody's ever selling them. And they're just annoying to farm. The leather just sucks in general. Where the hell? Alright, missing one item from somewhere around here. Aha. There we go. What's this? Says a ledger on it. Oh well, more junk from the operator. Cool, got that. Okay, this should be enough. What do we have? Broken toys, yeah. dirty ledgers, <sighs> small it's shoes. It's frustrating. Pod, take a photo of this junk and send it to operator two one zero. Affirmative. Operator two one zero to nine X. Hello, operator. <laughs> How can I help you? I've received your data. Great. Does it seem useful? That depends on what I do with it. Oh. All right. It is, however, fascinating. I was aware that humans used to live in groups, but I did not know they coexisted in such a wide variety of ways. I'm sure you're aware that most humans subsisted in... Oop. Didn't... I actually just wanted to tap it. Didn't mean to cut it off, but whatever. Whoops. Okay. Uh, familial? A family is a group of people that share a connection by blood or social custom. If androids had a similar system of families... <laughs> Operator? Are you there? I've said too much. I must return to my duties. And she disconnected me. Yep, she did. Alright. Yeah, they do respond well enough, I guess. To relate. I've sent mail with a reward. Please read it. And 9S? Usually they can do a decent, like, lap around it. And she disconnected me again. Well, if she's thanking me, I guess it must have gone okay. Uh, right? Huh. Purpose of question unknown. Yeah. Android wants a family. Kind of difficult for an android. Kind of, sort of. There's also a chest over this way. Give me that loot. Ah, it's a hacking one too. All the better. Yeah, that's why I kept going for it too. It's all like 
Ishgardian Restoration. It's like, cool. I don't want to get any more of this leather, though. 69 with Miner. Hell yeah, congrats. Uh, we've got a... First of all, let's get our mail. Black Pearl, Type 40 Bleed, Slow, Gold and EXP. Analysis of the information you sent us is complete. I believe I mentioned this already, but this societal unit called a family is truly fascinating. This will be of great use for future research. Your help is appreciated. Uh, do you know what? I actually do want to go to the Pascal's Village real quick. Because we got a few things to turn into her. I think it's just... Or him. It's just money, I think, we get for it. Or maybe EXP. But all these things we keep finding that are just miscellaneous old world items, they want them. So we gotta go there. We're gonna go to the copied fa- or... <laughs> not the copied factory, the original factory, real quick. See if we can find proof of A2. Also, sorry, phone was going off. Okay. Cool. So, Pascal. You still want the stuffs? Because we got the stuffs. By the stuffs, I mean, like, random bits. Other information, take this as a reward. 3000 G. That's okay. Well, you know, we're helping, I suppose. There's probably a reward for finding all of it. Factory entrance. Going on your server. I haven't checked it lately. I think we have one house up, I want to say, but I haven't checked it in the past, like, week, so... Good question. To be fair, I'm not really trying to progress it, I'm just trying to level. And get the mount from there. I got the one mount, but there's still others I want. There's, what, three more mounts left there? I got, got some mounts to get you. And then some pets. I, I got a bunch of stuff to still get from there. But it's mostly from the scripts. It's also just a good way to level. Just there in time for the fate. Oh man, that must be cool. I've never actually been there for any of the fates. That must have been pretty cool. All right, there's a. Th uh huh. Look, that's A2's handiwork. Yeah, there would not be. I'm not picking up any sign of. How would anybody else kill a machine? Hmm? What in the world? Oh, what is it? Data Hi, chip A. Analysis. It is believed to be you a, a full log level. To okay. Yoha unit A2. What's the data? The data log has been irreparably damaged. Further analysis it's a data log possible. dealing with somebody you're looking for. We can't check it though. Why do a bunch of machines have A2's data? A2B? I'm picking up other reactions. Yeah, we I definitely didn't do this quest chain before. Um, where are the other reactions? Ah, oh, they're all from in here, aren't they? Okay. Easy enough. Hey! Uh, Quasical? I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Viperland in the chat. How are you doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. Sorry, as soon as you did that, we started dropping a few frames, but that should even out. But how are you doing? We're just, uh, doing some side questing before we progress of the story. So, you know, backtracking a little bit. All the side quest stuff is optional, but it gives you more weapons, more chips, more money. And I like the story it gives. Any of the any of the like story based ones I enjoy. But uh purely optional, you don't have to. You can just shotgun straight through the story. I actually don't really need to be killing these guys, they give me two EXP, and that's with boosted EXP too. Like in weak abatio. Nick. Get a chip B. Right, you guys fight over there. Looking for more chips. Ah, copper ore. Boo has copper ore. 
potato chips seed. Now, overstocking on copper ore is probably the game's way of telling me, Viper, stop looting everything, stop backtracking so much, or just sell your heckin' copper ore. It's not really worth anything, but... Machine oil... Oh, that's gotta be one up here. There we go. Get a chip D. Boss rush, mi mi yeah. Boss rush missions? Have you passed... I assume you've passed where I was now, right? Could be wrong, but I would imagine. If you've been playing really any of it, you've probably passed me. Yeah, I beat Melfastio. I think that was pretty much the last thing I did. It's right out here. Oh, I see it, okay. Maybe I did like the smallest bit after, but it would just side quest by that, by that rate. Checking out for you in season play two sometime this week. Sure, yeah. Uh, in the likely event I end up forgetting, just remind me on Discord. I can check pretty much easily. Like I need to plug in the cartridge to my Switch. That's it. But like it's easy to do. I you just know I tend to be forgetful. <laughs> yeah, he was no joke. But I finished him. That's about where I left off. Okay. okay, I think that's the last of the data chips. Pod, analyze and collate the information from those chips. Analysis complete. Data set contains information about your pod unit A2. Collating with data from other chips. Stand by. Collation complete. The contained data is a debriefing report for the Pearl Harbor descent undertaken during the 14th Machine War. No kidding. That operation was carried out by the Yorha generation that came before us, right? Anyway, mission complete, I suppose. Let's get back to the resistance camp. Dude, I did a report on high school. Oh, that's interesting. See, I know so little of, like, Japanese history. Like, really, all of my knowledge is Nobunaga. And that's really just because of uh, Honey Bushit. And because he appears in heck and everything, but besides that. I, like, if I knew then what I know now, I would have taken the, like, Japanese studies part in high school, but I wasn't a weeb then, so I didn't. All of my friends were weebs, they were cool, but, like, I myself wasn't part of that program, even though it was in my high school. Moving on as retainer? Not really. Like, I vaguely retain- No, I'm gonna say no. That's who did report on. Cool, cool. I feel like all of my, any of my knowledge of Japanese history comes from video games. For better or worse. Right, we should just have to turn these in now, right? Oh yeah. Glad I opened the shortcut last time. Let's cut through. Oh, shieldy bastard. Just moving along. I should... I remember the, the last time I played Xenoblade Chronicles 2 was at last year's convention. I made a little bit of progress. Pulled for some more... Some more blades, but I don't remember exactly where I was. But I remember saying where I was in Discord and people being like, Wow, further than I thought. Like, that's... That's all I remember. Okay. Alright, just gonna keep lasering then. Alright. Yasuke. 
Came to Japan via Italian missionary. Hold on, I'll read more of that when I'm less being shot at. Also, this might help me be less shot at. There we go. Okay, just a minute, just a minute for this faction. Cool, cool. Did not know about him though. Alright, so let's go bring these back to the camp. Then right outside the camp, we should be able to continue on the story. They mark the chests on the map, but they don't really differentiate between, like, chests that respawn and chests you have to hack. Kind of just lootable. To the camp. Dead to the camp. Oh yeah, we get to fight that big machine again soon, too. The definitely not a leviathan machine. That should be our next story a bit. But first... We found more data from A2. Take a look. That's... it's number two. It really is her. You know her? You're her unit number two. She's an older model, but the same type as you. We work together. The Pearl Harbor drop. Yes. The operation itself was a success, but the Yorha fighters were completely wiped out. The commander was number two, A2. Have you met her? Do you know where she is? Actually, we have orders from the bunker to destroy her. What? She's a deserter. She also wiped out an entire team that was sent to bring her back. A2? No. I'm sorry, hi. Let's go, 9S. Alright, power apart. Oh, we should check and see if we actually can use any of those power parts. I wonder what that was all about. Something must have been up between Anemone and A2. Some things just aren't easy to talk about, especially for a soldier who's been fighting that long. I guess so. 9S, you. Huh? You might understand yourself someday. Right. And we upgrade a pod. Nope. We need more pure water. A bunch of it. We have everything else. We actually are pretty set on everything else. Except pure water. But what else? Oh, hold on. We also did get some new weapons while we're here before we keep going. Let's just make sure those are as upgraded as we can get them in case we want to swap around. I've been using this weapon, but like, you know, you never know. Phoenix dagger, dagger. Pack speed up. I feel like the daggers are... Phoenix flash. We still can't level the stick. The lance. We're missing a lot of just random little materials. Oh, that's the new blade we got. I'm going to keep this one because it's the only weapon we've got up to level 4. So I'm going to use it, damn it, but... Yeah, I've got it. You know what? We don't need it equipped twice. Let's equip something else to one of them, just to say we have something else. Gotta be level 3, whatever it is. Stun up, attack speed up. Durance up ain't bad either. Eh, screw it. Put the dagger on. Ha ha. Just a fast hitting little thing. We'll still be using this most of the time though. Machines 
Don't really give much EXP, do they? Alright, so we're looking for a pipe with water coming out of it that you can glide to. I don't... Uh, well, didn't make that one anyway. I feel like I've made it to... Oh, won't be that pipe. I mean, if not, whatever, but, like, if we know about it, may as well take a look. You gonna let me go? Oh, there we go. This one? No. No. I mean, there's another one, but it's one we're literally about to go into shortly, I think. We gotta go up there. And I don't see water... F oh, could theoretically be over that side. That could theoretically be it too. There sure are a lot of hostile enemies here. Why are some machines so aggressive, while others couldn't care less about us? Yeah, this is where we're going, but no water's coming out of it, really. We can check the other side. might be easier to actually go up and fall down. Worth the trial. Oh, copper ore, of course. If it's not, then not, but... Yeah, I can imagine it would be. Like, I've been going through speedily enough this time through, but like, my first time through this game, I, I looked around a lot. And I don't remember finding it, so it definitely wasn't anywhere, like, logical or easy to spot. That's where we're supposed to go. This is the one I was like, you know, maybe. Is it? Aha. That would be the one then. Nope. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I definitely didn't find that. There's music. Oh, all level 50 bots, too. Uh, they're not too far ahead of us at this rate. Oh, hold on. I don't think I've ever heard the 8-bit the blissful death. I honestly, like... I have the soundtrack, but I don't think I've ever listened to the whole thing, like, straight through. I don't think I've ever heard Blissful Death 8-bit. I have to go... I have to go find that after this.
Else that just loops around. Does it? I already turned myself around. Yeah, that's the one we came in from. That's a separate one, but let's go check this way first. Hey, Seventh, how's it going tonight? Welcome to Vaporland in the chat. How are you doing? Take all them down. So this is a very tall gun machines. It's like the desert ones, but they give themselves guns now. Which I mean is the natural next step, but Gotta be that other elevator. Go down from there. Doubt the map's even gonna help here. Yeah, no, map don't help. I'll give it a shot. I get the feeling I'm going to die, but I'm more than willing to give it a try. Don't lose your way. I don't try not to, but my way is always getting lost. Um, yep, no, I can see paths. These things to land on, yep. But you can't really see him until you've already taken that leap. Somebody didn't make out. Oh. Ow! Alright. Do I really need that much damage to my spine? I think not. A low place would even lower. That's true. Well, this is all actually new to me. I did not. I definitely would remember this. Even though I didn't know who Emil was the first time, I definitely would have remembered just this general, like, jumping down caves. And I'm pretty sure I didn't go through this stuff. Damn it, shouldn't have. Should have been able to dodge that better. This underground just cavern system is pretty damn large though. Project Gestalt report. Oh. Yeah, data on the old world, I'd say. It's a light bit of data on the old world. actually hit anything. Yeah. 
more machine cords. We got a boatload of cash ready if we ever need it. Bunch of titanium too. Ah, uh, hello, giant robots. Double damn it. Alright. It's fine. Took a little bit of hacking damage. Happens to everybody. Really, all the way down here, copper ore. The actual rare materials around here, and then just sprinkled around copper. Oh, not you guys. Yeah, screw this. I hate these things. hell out of here. XP if very gently the gentlest piano key taps oh it's not a hacking chest that's why hmm. I guess we keep going down At least a little bit. Getting back out is going to be something. Oh, it goes downhill. Sorry, bot. You had it coming. I don't know why, but we'll just say you did. Oh, the elevator you saw before? Got it. I'm still going to assume the water is bad. So I should really be careful to not fall into water this elite into climbing down here. All that titanium. Hot damn. Hack the chest. There we go. Oh, so we're definitely missing a few of those then. We found four and seven. Another one of those guys. You know what? Let's go with the ambience. It just looks cool down here like this. Not that I wanted to hack, but like, we'll take it.
Uh, I swear I started up the bot tonight. I swear. Oh, it disconnected at some point. Alright, try it again. We should be good. Can't pump it up. I'd love to. But I cannot. It's not a track that can be pumped. Oh, yeah, I fill the hacking games every now and again, so wouldn't be too surprised if it happened. There we go. Don't want to hack the little guys. I can hack them with a sword. I don't need to hack their data centers. You know what? Screw it. Oh, well, that didn't work either. I do like how the hacking minigame's pretty much designed to give you a chance. Like, it doesn't immediately start firing. It gives you that moment to be like, okay, let me get my bearings, figure out how it's going down. And then I get, you know, shot anyway. Damn it! Barely made it, but made it anyway. Okay, there's an elevator. I like the ambience, but I like not dying to full damage too. Oh, okay. Camera, work from here, thank you. Data's been updated? Huh. Guess there's a new unit source. Maybe we should keep the light on just for visibility. And now. Uh, damn it. I probably gotta come back later, don't I? Well, made it that far. We know how to get back. Yeah, I think I have to do his quest again. It's all good though. It's still stuff I hadn't seen before, and we can know how to get back here quick and easy now. So whatever. Unless this is a one-way elevator, and even then we just drop down all the way next time. Uh, from here it was this way. I did not talk to him this run. I've, I feel like I've teleported past his area this whole time. That, yep, that's fair. Well, we can go grab that. See, normally I'm like, oh yeah, I yeah, know, we'll do some side quests, then we'll do a story. But now I'm like, we're doing this because I haven't done this, so we gotta, gotta do it. All the other side quests, I don't know if I did 100% of them my first playthrough, but I did a lot of them. But not this one.
And again, we know how to get back easy. Well, I'm sure. I mean, I was doing it just for blissful death, so, you know, good enough reason for me. I've heard it so much, but I didn't realize I hadn't heard it in-game. So that was already a good enough reason. Oh, it's playing up here now, too. Well, not the lyrical version, but... Uh, maybe it's something different. Oh, okay, then I couldn't remember if I had heard it in game or not. And there he is. Certain moments got gotcha. you. Oh, it sounded like it for a second, though. Uh, maybe we should clear the area. Okay, let me go. Uh, hold on. <laughs> hold that thought. Uh, I was hoping we were gonna get the uh, the Emil music 8-bit version, like his store theme, which would have been cool. Alright, Emil, how's it going? Ow, yeah, we did you. Hey, I remember you from the other day. Sorry, I got startled and ran away. Uh, rolled away, I guess. Anyway, my name's Emil, and this is my shop. Want to buy something? I've got the best prices anywhere. Uh, I feel like I've got chips leveled over his stuff already. We can combust a foe. Yeah. I look forward to serving you again. What was that? You wanted to know where I live? Uh, I don't think I asked about that. Well, I live deep underground. Picture something deep, then go deeper. Yep. Okay. Alright, so backtracking time. I assume we can just take the elevator back down, so we can speed up that process quite drastically. And if not, then whatever. I should have thought to talk to him first. Oh no, they're shooting at me. Whatever will I run past them and do? I mean, I should fight them for the XP, but... We got a mission. Eh, if it doesn't, then it doesn't. We'll just jump down, it's simple enough. Not really a big deal. Oh, dang it. Didn't expect to be taking the big, uh, roundabout, extra stuff way. Not complaining, mind you. But they also did hide that pipe pretty well. Like, it's, it's simultaneously hidden and just in plain sight. Like, it's kind of both. It's not here. Got to it from over here, right? You can only really get to it from this building. Hell, you can't even really see it too well unless you're in that building. Like I was trying to spot it from ground level, or below ground level, I guess. Wasn't really showing it.
Alright, so we fought all you guys the first time. We're just gonna run past it right now. All for fighting bots. But well, we got Emil's house to go visit. The only true way to enter an elevator. Gotta fight a few, but that's fine. Man, you guys don't mess around with that heck of damage. It's open now, and it's got guards. Oh, it's got its head on it too. Hypothesis: This is the residence of the inscrutable life form. Known inscrutable. As How he did all this as a head is impressive. <gasps> okay, that's fair. Yeah. This is... I know it's music from OG Nier. Pick up Emil's mask. Nah. Like, as cool as it would be, we'll leave it to him. Pick up the mask. Okay. He got his mask. Which I assume we can wear. There we go. Oh, he doesn't wear it as a full mask. <sighs> okay. It's a hell of a hole. Where even are we? Like, I know we couldn't just jump down here. Yeah. They must be between buildings or something, because they wouldn't want you to just jump down here, but like, light makes it. Good. It's good. Does he say something different if you go talk to him wearing his mask? Because, I mean, we got it. We could do that. I get the feeling he wouldn't. I get the feeling that's just not how it would work, but you never know. I'm not going to go out of my way for it right now, because we'll be fairly close to where we're supposed to go around here. But I'll keep it in mind, and I'll just keep it on, so in the future if we pass them by, we can go give them a little chat. Nothing quite like hucking your blade out of moving elevator through the door, you know. Again, as you just would. Can I hook the dagger too? I can, yeah. You know, I probably wasn't speeding up the elevator ride at all by 
throwing weapons through it. <sighs> That's where I needed to be. Uh oh. Ah, uh, well, we'll make it back up. Actually, do you know what? Can't. Quick save. Does say something, then you go to his home again for. Okay. I mean, we've made it this far in things. We may as well. But you know what? I think it's actually quicker to just transport to the desert camp. And then from there, we'll probably transport. Yeah. I, while I haven't seen this in-game, I get the feeling I remember this bit being covered in the Clumps video. I'm pretty sure this is the only, like, side quest thing he covered. Because, while he does do reviews and storyline synopsis of games, he likes to leave all the, the side quest stuff so there's still a reason for people to play the game. It's like, yeah, you may have the bullet points of the, the main story, which is cool, and, like, the videos are great, but intentionally leaves all the side quest stuff out. Except this one. He, yeah, I definitely remember him talking about this quest. Not the steps on how to do it, but just the general... Where did this guy go? He kind of just ri- I thought he'd be here, but I know he kind of rides all over, doesn't he? There he is. Dang it. Alright, fine. We'll fight these bots. Cool? Cool. Nope, not cool. Cool? There we go. Can I help you with anything? Good boy. The world's really going to hell in a handbag, yeah. isn't it? I actually had a bandit break into my place a little while ago. After that, I put all my valuables in a secure container. Now I don't have to worry anymore. Huh. Yeah, funny that. Oh, I forgot we had the, the drugs. Let's take some of those machine bits. Oh, we got the fish too, yeah. I should sell the OS chip. There's the money. Okay. Boy, the world I actually, okay. After that. Back down to the house. Guiding you to steal from the NPCs. I mean, it is what you do. Taking your potions, taking your mask, you know, whatever. Probably could have transported to go a little quicker over here, but whatever. We'll just go around. Not actually that big a deal. Like, the world of this game is definitely big enough, but it's also not so big that, like, barring going from, like, the amusement park to the desert, where you might just be, like, screwed on a teleport, everything's fairly within reach. But it's still definitely, like, big enough for sure. It doesn't feel small and cramped. At all. But, like, they, they, they pinned it down pretty well. They could have gone way bigger... But then it would just take forever to get anywhere. They could have done smaller, but then it just would have felt like tiny, cramped, you know. I almost didn't make that jump, come on. Alright, back down to the house again. We got this down to a science at this rate. I don't know if I'd be able to make that one without the, the extra boost jump like that. Maybe, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm also pretty sure there was probably more of those reports down in the caves, but I'm not worried about finding all of them.
Okay. Sorry about that. Nose being weird. It's been better tonight than than lately, but it's probably just because the, the weather is warmer. It's not as bad in the warm weather. I just don't like the, the warmer weather as much. But apparently my nose do. Alright, so it's not that way. It's this way. As you do with bots, apparently. Aha. Uh -huh. He did lock it all up. Meal's head. There you go. Go full of meal. There it is. It's like we're playing the game as Yoko Taro. It's a shame we can't put it on Tubi as well. I mean, at this exact moment. Oh, damn it! I didn't mean to skip that. Also, hey Chuck, how's it going? Welcome to Vaporland in the chat. Uh-oh. Uh, he's got some health here. Um... Wait, wait, where did he get all of those? Ow. Oh, I might actually die here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. Damn. <laughs> and Beal don't mess around. <laughs> no, just... Heads. Exploding most of your life damage head. I, uh, unless it spawns me there, I might just not do that one right now. Because that seems a tougher one. I assume we can go back there and do that whenever. We lose our body though. Which has got some chips in it. Huh. Like all our chips. Gotta go back down. I gotta go back down to get those. That's like all my chips. We could probably make do without them, but I don't want to. Well, this is going to be interesting. I mean, if he gets us again, if it seems like something I can't pull off right now, we'll come back to it later and we'll just use other chips for now. I mean, I can understand why he's pissed. We did steal his head. Though, he also clearly has spares? a few spares. We'll try it once real quick. If it goes terribly wrong, then meh. Whatever. It's 
comically large head. Should make sure this has got... Okay, it's got at least an auto heal, deadly heal. It's missing a few things. Up three, range attack of five. We'll go with that. Enough for now. Out the way. What's up? <laughs> That's fine. If that's the way it is, that's the way it is. Oh, yeah, that's then that's the way it is. <laughs> For sure. That would be why I was doing no damage to him too. I was kinda curious about that, because we were doing zero. Well I'm gonna try. I said I was gonna try it one more time. To be fair, if it lets me hop in, grab the chips and hop out, I'll do that. Especially knowing what I know now. Well, if it doesn't, then life goes on. We have a bunch of chips. We can buy some spares that we need. It's all good. The only thing I'd actually be really... The only thing I'd actually be missing out on would be our shockwave chip. I'm pretty sure I've got extras of everything else. I can see the corpse. <laughs> Yep. Uh, okay, that was his first line. So be it. Uh, still. All right, let's at least get our body back. Mhm. Mm yeah, we ain't beating him right now. <laughs> we ain't beating him. We got our other chips back, and then lost these ones. That would work too, but whatever. Technically, I did swap to another set, so the ones I was mostly using the first time, the ones that didn't overlap, should be back. But whatever, I, I have no regrets. So yeah, we got most of them. Right, let's just... We want item scan, EXP, drop rate. Auto heal. Honestly, take that off. Oh, that's interesting. This weapon sounds fun. Yeah, like it's something I'll go back eventually. Oh, so they'd have to be his heads, yeah. Right, so we got EXP gain, drop rate up. Got auto heal. Slap an offensive heal in there. HP up 5. I think we did lose our big weapon attack. We got a plus 3, so whatever. And... Critical up. Oh, just fits. Look at that. Perfect. See, it all works out. We're good enough. Back up we go. I know where we're actually supposed to go. Mm, that's not how that was supposed to go. Alright. I'm failing the ladder boss. Maybe I need to come on, step it up. There we go. And over that way we go this time. Well, it's still entertaining, don't get me wrong. I'm glad I did it. And it gives me an excuse, if I ever get higher levels, to go back and give it a better shot, too. Excuse me. Now on to the missile mission. Which goes, uh... He's taunting me. 
He's taunting me. Emil, please don't taunt me. I forgot I could just slide down this. That good quick save in. He must have been passing above me is what really must have been happening. It must have been just close enough. He must have been on a low point above that pipe and just passed by enough for me to hear him. Or taunting me. Why must we read all these books, brother? Knowledge expands horizons and enriches existence. But can't we just transfer all this data over instantly? Into your head, perhaps, but not to your heart. Uh, I guess. Hmm. Hey, so... Yes? My name? Eve? This book says it's a woman's name. Shouldn't we be called Cain and Abel or something instead? Humans wouldn't change names so easily. Besides, you should be proud of the name Eve. Huh. Well, if that's what you think, then I'm fine with it. Glad to hear it. Um, Name discussion, you know. Else? After we're done reading, can we go out and play? I'm sure it'll be tons of fun. All right, but only after. Gotta read the finished. whole Bible, then you can go play. <laughs> then I'm gonna try extra hard to finish this. Extra, extra hard. You do that. You do that. Reading, it's very powerful. keeps putting me back to that. I wonder if it's because I said that it's my weapon one. Of those oh, we didn't beat these guys the next time, last time. Me, right? This machine type purposely seeks out androids in order to enact revenge. It should be dispatched immediately. Got it. But now that we can hack them, they should be able to go down. They've just got too much HP, yo. I bet you even the hammer doesn't do much to them. Also, what? <laughs> All right, well, we missed, so... Yeah, let's just hack him. Okay, could you stop that? I mean, please? It's all coming too. Figured to be able to whittle down his last bit, but maybe I should have. Maybe I should have hacked him again. <laughs> 